Hi, it's Bill with Econo Handy Services, and we're going to talk about computer keeping your computer alive and well. Uh, one of the programs I like to use is the, the temporary file cleaner. It's that one, the old timer temporary file cleaner. And so basically, it's going to stop all uh, processes and clean all your temporary files and what I normally do is after each uh, internet surf session I run this and it'll dig up push the start and this is called uh, again temporary file cleaner by old timer uh, this is version 3.1 and so I always run this after each surf session just to clean up any temporary files and the other one I recommend would be the Microsoft Security Essentials and or SpyBot uh, SpyBot Search and re Repair And if you don't have the temporary file cleaner, you can always go to um, My Computer or Accessories and System Tools and do the uh, cleanup. Just clean up. <laughs> and so it's going to check and see if there's any files that are no longer used. And I usually just clean them all up. And then if your computer is running slow, I cleaned them all up. I, I never had any problem with cleaning up these files. I, I never compressed the old files as well. So that's your computer tip for today and always remember to defrag at least once a month. You want to defrag, go into my computer and click on right click on C drive and then properties and then you want to go to uh, defrag what happens is you go to tools here at properties <clears throat> is eventually if your files get scattered then your hard drive will be uh, running extra miles to retrieve your data which uh, may eventually lead to its demise so here it's showing me the temporary files. We have a lot of temporary files right now on this. <clears throat> and then here when we go, when we're at the compress old files, I, I don't compress the old files. And okay. And so that's the built-in Windows uh, disk cleanup, temporary file cleanup that's good to use. So. Thanks for watching, and if you need any computers repaired, give me a call, 707-443-8347. Also, I also have an e email, it's laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com, laptops is a plural word.